Today I will show you how to make this flashing lights effect. Yo, it's Povikas here and today's effect I'll make way differently than anyone has ever probably thought of making it. I'll be using it actually a glint effect to make this effect. So I don't know, type in the comments if you have ever thought of a way to make this effect with the glint effect. But anyways guys, if you're new to the channel, my name is Povikas and I've been a video editor for over seven years now. And I also own a super dope video editing website called povikas.com where I have my insane visual effects inside of my presets packs. These packs let you instantly drag and drop video effects and have absolutely insane visuals in literally seconds. So if you're interested in my crazy video editing presets, I will leave a link down for them in the description. But anyways, let's get into the tutorial. Alright guys, so here I have just a couple of clips from one and only's Ghost Killer music video. And here what we can do is press Ctrl Y to make a new adjustment layer. And on this adjustment layer, let's add S Glint. As I said in the intro of the video, I'll be making this effect with the glint effect. So I'll make the brightness to 4.33. I'll make the hue shift to 0.09. I just like to have it in a bit of a different color. And I actually also like to make the threshold a bit lower to 0.46 to make it pop out even more. But here's what I'm going to make, kind of making the look lower by making the threshold blur kind of high. So I'm gonna make this to 406. And I'm actually going to keyframe the threshold blur effect. Now, as you can see, it made everything look so much blurrier. Before it was just like this glint effect. Now it's almost like a blur lights effect. And I'm actually also going to keyframe the size effect and I'm going to keyframe the blur glint effect, but I'm gonna make the blur glint to 1850 but we're going to make it animated so it's going to flash but before we do that let's also add the last effect which is as hotspots and i just like to make the threshold here to 0.25 i like to have it a bit darker like look before and after i just like that little bit of a darkness here and now what we can do is press u to see all of the keyframes that we made and we can step one frame forward and here i like to make the threshold blur something like 23 and as you can see that makes the brightness pop out again and i also like to make the size a bit lower to 192 and now let's go one frame forward and here i like to make the blur glint lower so something like 500 59 and it's going to make the lights pop out around like this or i don't know how it's actually going to look for you sometimes you'll just see nothing this look sometimes just doesn't work for some clips and it's and it's usually because there's not a lot of whites around so yeah if this effect doesn't work for you don't worry just use it on different clips and now what we need to do is go on blur glint and hold alt and press on this time watch or whatever this is and here we need to type loop out and press on right here and then press out of it now that's just going to loop the blur glint as as you can see that is already pretty pretty cool but i like to loop out more of these so i also like to loop out the size so all you have to do is just type loop out in the size press out of there and also hold alt go on threshold blur and here i'm gonna type loop out press on it go out and now everything is going to flicker it's going to look absolutely really really cool i mean i don't know what you guys think about this effect super super cool effect but if you want to add some extra effects on top of this you can go to effects and presets i'm just gonna type flicker and i can show you like how pre-made flicker effects look like from my flicker presets pack so for example my favorite flicker effect that i've ever made flicker heavy 4 v2 you just drag and drop it onto your adjustment layer and you instantly have the super super cool effect i mean as you can see that is absolutely insane you can just do that in literally one click that's what i pretty much love about my presets packs they save me around 50 percent of the time that i used to spend on making effects by just dragging your dropping random effects on after effects like you can also add flicker heavy 2 to give you this blue look i guess or you can add grungy flicker effects on top of here for that grungy lights effect and this is going to look like this just an absolutely incredible look so if you would like to have crazy effects in literally just a drag and drop away i definitely recommend to check out my flicker presets pack which i will link in the description and this pack is also a part of my all packs bundle which is all of my packs combined into one huge pack for a huge discount and i will leave a link down for the all packs bundle in the description so you can level up your edits and edit way faster but anyways guys that's about it for the video if you have any questions then please let me know but anyways it was fun have a fun and productive day see ya